Okay. Hello. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna wait a little bit. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> oh, this is so weird. Okay, so I guess I can just start, right? Because we're just gonna save it anyways. Um, okay, so my name is Jimena Luna. I currently work as a student worker for the National Confederate Scholarship, and I have applied for many scholarships. Um, the first one I applied for was the Gilman Scholarship, which is a scholarship that helps you study abroad. Um, you do have to have Pell Grant to apply for this scholarship, and... Thanks to this scholarship, I was able to study abroad in Spain for five weeks, which I think was the best experience of my whole life. Um, so if you can, make an appointment and apply for these amazing scholarships. Then I applied for the CLS, which is a critical language scholarship. Um, I'm currently studying Portuguese. Um, so that's why I applied for this scholarship. I didn't get it, but I'm grateful for the opportunity to be able to apply and work with this office. Um, because I learned a lot about myself and about my goals in the future. Then I applied for the Truman Scholarship, and I didn't get it either, but this scholarship really helped me um, get to know myself, um, learn about what I want to do in the future. So I think this one, this one was the best and more challenging um, scholarship I have ever applied for. Um, I have to come up with a proposal, and it was it was a good way to see and do research in like grad school and where I wanna end up in the future. So I'm really really grateful for that opportunity, and I'm currently applying for Fulbright, which uh, Fulbright Brazil. I wanna go and teach English in Brazil, so I'm excited for that one. Um, I strongly recommend you to apply for these scholarships. Um, you're really not alone. Um, when I started my application for Gilman, um, I have no idea what I was doing. Um, there's a lot to talk about and you really don't know everything that you have done until you start writing it. Um, and until you start answering all the questions these amazing advisors ask you to keep writing. Um, so, yes apply 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 um maybe right now you have no idea which scholarship to apply for but just make an appointment and they will help you and find the right scholarship for you there's always a scholarship for you i promise and you do make those connections with the office and with other people um through the process um what else um i am really grateful to be part of this office and any way that I can help you, I'm here um, through the process to answer questions. I know it can be intimidated and I know um, writing the, the first draft and then the Dr. Kint or Dr. Lin um, sending the back with so many um, comments and you know, it can be intimidated, but you know, at the end, you're gonna love your draft and the most importantly is that that draft you can use it in the future for other scholarships for other applications for interviews for anything it's all about getting to know yourself and sharing that with um the the organization um so do you have any questions for me any specific questions for me i think i share about my experience mm -hmm. Uh, <laughs> so make an appointment <laughs> um i promise this office is amazing and is always willing to help you so i have a question which was the hardest gosh to, to apply for um true man i think that was the longest gosh i applied for um i didn't know about truman until December I think and the deadline was at the beginning of February I think so I had like a month to, upload, to work on it I think it was the longest scholarship that I have applied for and I had to come up with a proposal 
which it was challenging um then i had to knew like i have to have an idea of, like what i wanted to do in the future which gra graduate program i wanted to attend um what i where i see myself in 10 years so it was a lot of reflecting and thinking and really seeing myself in a future which i know at this time life is like i don't know what i want to do you know um but you know it was worth it and now thank you to this application i know where i want to be um in 10 years in three years so and then i have another question why did you decide to do fulbright um well working in the in the office i realized that there is so many opportunities um I love languages, I love culture. Um, I came from Mexico five years ago, so I had to immerse myself with another culture. So, you know, um, then I studied abroad in Spain and it was another culture, even though we, they speak Spanish too, but it was learning about another culture. And then now learning Portuguese, um, I would love to like, you know, visit Brazil and be part of the culture and learn from them and learn the language. And you know, like um, for me, one thing is like always sharing the American culture. So, you know, I'm not like sharing my Mexican American culture to other countries. So that's why I decided to apply for Fulbright and I'm really excited for that opportunity. Um, I have another question. Why did you wish you could have gone back and told yourself before applying to these scholarships? Um, I wish I knew about this office since like my freshman year. Um, I applied, I started to know about the squash like at the end of my sophomore year. So I think that's the only thing, you know, like um, I really didn't know how much thing, I, how, how many things I was doing um, throughout my future. And now when writing applications, sometimes I don't know what to focus on. So, you know, um, you know, I guess the only thing is just like knowing about the scholarship early and making an appointment early and knowing about those scholarships, those opportunities early. Um, so yeah, if you're a freshman, apply, make an appointment. It's never too early to work on those scholarships. <laughs> Any other questions? <laughs> Okay, so I think I'm gonna end it. Um, uh, so thank you so much for everyone to join us. If you have any questions, just email us, make an appointment. Um, you can DM, DM us too. Uh, we're here to help you. And you can reach out to me too. Um, I'm here to help you through the process too. And Dr. King does it, thank you. <laughs> and mandy and dr lee <laughs> okay thank you so much for joining us um have a great wednesday